technology has the potential now to not just let you know you call anybody anywhere on the planet or or communicate with them via video teleconference for free on your computer but it has the opportunity also to jump the gap between abilities to communicate so one individual who uh, can't speak can type and in fact there's one autistic woman who I uh, Skype with online frequently and she uh, doesn't speak but she types 120 words a minute I usually speak so this channel of communication lets me talk to her her listen to me and I receive her text and we can have a, a full bandwidth conversation with uh, her typing and me speaking now she was diagnosed with low functioning autism at, at one point or, or was at least gave the appearance to people that she was low functioning she's actually quite high functioning intellectually and yet when people see her, they're very surprised that she is so articulate and can communicate so well typing. Uh, once when we were Skyping and I was talking and she was typing, uh, the audio dropped out and she could no longer hear me. So I had to type. So we were on a level playing field there with both of us typing to each other. And at that point it became very clear to me who was the handicapped person uh, and it was not her. While I write a lot and I type you know, maybe 75 words a minute. She's 120 words a minute, and her thoughts came out perfectly typing. Mine were, were fumbling and backing up and trying to, you know, figure out how to reword that because my speech is produced very differently than my typing. So the technology that was leveling the playing field when she could type and I could talk, uh, you know, so that we could communicate as two individuals would without thinking about any impediments to our communication. Um, when something dropped out or changed in that technology, suddenly I was the handicapped one uh, and she was the high functioning one. As we look at the ways technology can perform, we see the ways that it can hinder our communication and ways that it can help our communication and ways that it can enable people who are seen around the usual social table as being non-social and unable to communicate to online suddenly become somebody who's very social and very able to communicate and who even appears more able than, than I do <laughs> to perform under that circumstance. So we see that technology has the chance to reshape our channels of communication and enable all people to become participants and communicators and able to contribute their, their thoughts, their ideas, their expression to society. And that's so exciting when we can open up people who haven't been able to speak before or to participate uh, and allow them to join in and, and uh, present their diverse different ways of thinking as, as part of our society.